Got some wine, guys. I feel kind of crowded in here, right? Let's see if I can open this up a little. All right, there you go. Now you can see me. So I'm here still at Toot and Kate's and making my selection of wines for this 2024 fall and winter season. Wow, you know, I couldn't do a wine selection without this particular varietal. I'll get to that in a moment. So, if you're from Wisconsin and you're watching this video, you must come to Verona here outside of Madison. Verona, Wisconsin, right here in downtown Madison, right on the strip, right across from the Goodwill. You know, you'll find Two Cakes, one of my favorite wine bars. I just love this place. You know, just nice and quaint and cozy. One of these videos, I give you like a little quick ride, ride around tour. I think some of my past videos, you can see me, you know, jamming out here at Duke Cakes. But that being said, I am giving you my list of wines for the 2024 holiday season, fall and winter selection here at Tooth Cakes. They got a nice selection in the dispenser you get a chance to try before you buy. How cool is that? So get a chance to taste wines, 24 wines on tap, you know, that you can try, including in a wines. Okay? So, that being said, let's get to why we're here. You notice you just see the label of this wine. Now, I go through and make a selection of wines, you know, not based on taste, but what looks and sounds interesting to me when I'm at Tooth Cakes. There may be a time when I pick up a wine that I'm just not a fan of. And I think I may have had one of those uh, in one of my videos, but I'm gonna be honest with you because that's the only way I know how to do it. That's the most constant way, like wine guy's way. Be honest, be upfront, tell them the real deal. So, this is a beautiful label. Beautiful, beautiful label. You know, I like the butterflies, like the cow, which tells, which, which says, you know, nature, natural, right? That brings us to the maker of this wine. We go to the back here. Benzinger Family Winery, okay, is the producer of this wine. Sustainably farmed. This is the 2022 Wild Chardonnay. What they call it here? They call it Running Wild. 2022 Wild Chardonnay. Alcohol is coming in at. You know, one of these years, I hope that they put the alcohol in the same section so that you can find it. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to find that one a little bit later for you. Oh, there it is, 14.3. 14.3 looks like it. They make it just tiny. So 14.3% alcohol in this chart of eight year. Uh, it goes through 100% mallow, 100%, you know, so to smooth out those rough edges, you know, uh, aged in French oak. Uh, so it's made on ABA is, uh, has seeds or San Benito County, okay? That's kind of like in the Central Coast. You know, since I've been out of the wine game, you know, like as a retailer, you know, all these different things are coming up, you know, so it's like education to me. Anything with beverages, you're always learning something new. Okay, and you probably discovered that from one of my early videos with the Tempranillo Blanc. There was no Tempranillo Blanc when I was in the wine business, but it's here now, baby. But the San Benito County is part of the Central Coast. So we're talking SLB, San Luis Obispo. We're talking uh, 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 Santa Barbara and the Paso, Paso Robles. So the Central Coast in California, you find San Benito County. So let's give this a taste of Chardonnay. So what I was saying earlier is that, you know, you can't have a list where at least one of these varietals, and that varietal is going to be Chardonnay. I don't know what this tastes like, but it sounds divine. And I've always been a fan of Benzinger wines. You can uh, search Benzinger wines on my YouTube channel, and you'll see the different Benzinger wines that I sample, some with multiple years. So I've always been a fan of that family wines and their siblings' uh, wines. You know, you have the daughter, you have the son, you know, each of them make their own line of wines. All right, that being said, here we go. Chardonnay. Beautiful color on that Chardonnay, right? Sun slowly going down, so I want to take advantage of that sunlight, you know, get that natural light. I like this tree behind me. We're going to know. Oh, 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 wow, you definitely pick up the, the smoke and the fruit blended in with this. We have a tropical nose uh, blended with caramelization. Now, it's funny, when it comes to French oak, I always think about the Bordeaux wines. You know, the red Bordeaux wines. There's a distinctive toast in the French oak barrels and Bordeaux wines. And I pick up that distinctive note here of this one here. I mean, it's not too heavy, you know, not too heavy laden, but definitely gives you that nice, like, oh, wow, this is a nice comeback, complex. 
tropical with the pineapple, like, you know, grilled pineapple, you know, so you pick up on some of that. Citrus nose, lemon. Got some apple. Wow, wow, this is this just smells so good. I can sit and just smell this one all day, right? But we have to keep going, keep moving on. I got plenty more wines to pick for you that I selected for you. So there we go. First step, taste, acidity, no acidity, no play. Love that label, right? Oh. Nice acidity. Nice mouth feel. Pick a little bit of tannins. Oh, a heck of a finish. Still tasting it. Rich. Full. Nice chill. And this is at a, at a chill temperature, or cool, a chill temperature here. So they, wow, nice. I should have found out what temperature this is at. I can imagine what it's going to be like if it's warm, which means that you can pair this with even more robust and savory dishes. Okay, now for the taste. Mm. Wow. Just the overall mouthfeel and taste and the finish is just wonderful on this Chardonnay. Benzinger. Again, I've always been a fan of their wines, and this wine right here just does not disappoint. Uh, 2022, Benzinger, Running Wild. Not the same as Benzinger. Benzinger, Running Wild, Chardonnay 2022. Have it here in two cakes, in Wisconsin. Of Verona, pick up you a couple of bottles here, or even just sit here and have a taste of this wine. You'll enjoy it. Try some of their uh, boards to enjoy with the wine. I can still taste the wine. Oh, it's phenomenal. So, there you have it, Wisconsin Wine Guy. Your next wine from your fall and winter discovery and tasting and enjoyment. Didn't think of 2022 Chardonnay. Oh, 14 percent alcohol. Don't even notice it. Maybe I'll notice it later. Ciao.